Hey YouTube, welcome to Blackout UK's YouTube channel. I am Rogue Marby Scott. I'm gonna be talking to you about straight guys and being a femme guy. Why? When straight guys meet a feminine gay guy, just like myself, why do they start acting like double dick lives don't matter? Asking all sorts of random questions, specifically this one. Who's the boy and who's the girl? You're the girl, right? And it's not only the things that they say, it's how they act sometimes. They start opening doors for me, they start pulling out chairs for me, and when I'm about to leave to go to the toilet, they stand up out of politeness as if I'm a female. No. Oh, and one other thing. They act as if I can't pay for my own drinks, so they wanna pay for my drinks too. <sighs> it's like, wait, hold up, wait a minute, pause. Ooh, I know I'm gay, and I know I'm feminine. But what I am not is a female. That kind of actually sounds a bit sexist. Yes, I'm feminine, but I'm not lemonin and I'm somewhat of a feminist, but shit. I'm not and never will be one of your girlfriends. I'm gay, a feminine gay guy. And no, I cannot twerk. And no, I cannot do that death drop. Back, 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 I can pull my own chair out. I can open the door for myself. I can pay my bills. This is what you see when you see me as a feminine gay guy. A war man, woman. No. What annoys me about straight guys, and this can be black straight guys, white straight guys, just straight guys in general, just looking at me as a black feminine gay guy is they always ask me to just stupid things like, oh, so when are you gonna cook me some curry goat and roti and pilau rice here? Yeah, Cause I'm half Asian. And really, who told you I could cook? Yes, I can throw down, but I am gonna cook for you. Do you not have a bitch at home that can do that for you? No, okay, well, sorry. And that's because I'm feminine. Don't let me get belligerent up in here. If you want someone to cook food for you, look to your girl. To the left, to the left. And maybe get her like a Levi Roots recipe book or something. I don't know. I am a feminine gay guy and I love being me. I love being who I am and I love the people who are around me and the people who are around me love me too. But straight guys actually do kind of demasculinize feminine guys and that might sound like a contradiction but it's true. You're acting as if we're the lessers because in society the lessers are women. Kind of like the lessers in the world are, are gay as well. But you're treating me like a woman. I'm not. I have a dick which I like to use. Demasculizing me, got me sounding like some of these white YouTubers. <laughs> Just to get this straight, I'm not talking about straight guys who I feel might be bi or bi-curious or I know are bi. I'm talking about those straight guys that I know in my heart are straight. They are either married or they have a wife or they have a girlfriend or they don't and I, I just feel that they're straight. Why? Why do you do this to feminine gay guys? As a feminine gay guy, I grew up predominantly around men, boys. There were, my family really does not have a lot of females in it. There's strictly loads, men, action men, football. So, really and truly, was I born this way or was I conditioned to be this way? No, I feel like I was born this way, but let's, that's a whole new difference kind of story. As a, as, as a feminine gay guy, I might, this might even actually kind of surprise you. I like wearing makeup and guess what? I can fix a faulty wire in a plug socket. I can do manual labor like carpentry. I can change a car tire and I can fix some plumbing problems. Surprised? I'm probably more masculine than you are being a feminine gay guy. So when you come across me, do not assume that I need you to treat me like a female because really and truly, a lot of you straight guys out there aren't really that masculine. Anyway, I'm Rogue Marby Scott. That's it for this video. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And also you can subscribe to my channel, that's Planet Marbeja, and I will hopefully see you soon.